Good morning and welcome to the official opening ceremony of the Africa Health Agenda International Conference 2017 in Nairobi. Yes, our temperatures are like this, and I told somebody we have two sets of uh, temperatures in this country at the moment. It's a political year, I'll ignore that. I have been promised rain by a doctor from uh, Uganda, who you'll meet in a moment. My name is Caroline Mutoko. I'm your facilitator for the next three hours, so yes, put up with me. I'll try to be nice. Now, a little work I need you to do. I need you to follow Amref underscore worldwide on Twitter, please. I do not do sessions that do not trend. The world must know something amazing is happening in Nairobi. I'm going to start by welcoming um, those who've come from elsewhere. His Excellency, Dr. Mustafa Kaloko. Sir, welcome. Also, a very warm welcome to a lady who tells me in two weeks we might get rain, because apparently it's been raining in Uganda nonstop for the last two weeks. Please put your hands together for the Honorable Dr. Ruth Acheng. A gentleman who looked at me like, if you get my name wrong, we will talk later. The Honorable Dr. Kig Wangala is also joining us today. And the Honorable Mahmoud Kombo, who looks amazing in blue, sir. Also, this event will not be possible without the support of the people who truly buy into the African health agenda. So, um, he speaks very well. I shall punish him later for refusing to dance by making him sing for us when we close the session. Please extend a very warm Kenyan welcome to Mr. David Pritchard, the Vice President, Africa and Developing Countries of Asia. I read her bio last night and then I read it again and I read it again and ma'am, you are a lot to take in. And then I thought you'd be seven foot two and then this was all of you. That means you're like a small army tanker. She is, she is an amazing lady. She is the World Health Organization Regional Director, Dr. Moeti. Ma'am, welcome. I want to get this session underway, so I'm going to ask our host to make his welcome remarks. But before he moves, Dr. Gitahi will tell you, and his biog is really, really flory. You know, it tells you how he joined AMREF in 2015. It tells you that he was vice president and regional director for Africa Smile Train International, which is awesome. Before that, he was um, one of us, the dark side. Prior to that, he worked with the Nation Media Group. Um, I work in media as well, which is why I call it the dark side, where he was the managing director for the Monitor Publications in Uganda, as well as GM for Marketing and Circulation in East Africa. He's also, um, if he was still a GSK, David would be his boss. But I have a feeling knowing you, you'll probably be David's boss. <laughs> However, I think what is impressive about our host is the fact that if the social media picture is anything to go by, he can dance. He really can. But also, I loved something he said to young people. He says, being young is like playing with all your chess pieces at one go. The good thing about being our age, on the other hand, is that we understand we need to actually keep a few chess pieces close to our chests. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our host this morning, Dr. Gitahi. Thank you to the Goretti Children's Home, Amref Center for Rehabilitation and Reintegration of Children from Dagoretti Slums. Really put your hands together for the Dagoretti team. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> our chief guest uh, was supposed to be, and he still is, Honorable Cleo from Mailu, now represented by the Director of Medical Services, uh, Dr. Jackson Kiyoko. Thank you very much for coming on behalf. He had that to be called uh, at short notice. Uh, by his boss, um, Dr. Moeti, Regional Director for WHO Africa, Dr. Mustafa Kaloko, uh, Commissioner for Social Affairs at the African Union, Dr. Ruth uh, Sheng, Minister of Health in Uganda, Honorable Mahmoud Tabit Kombo, Minister for Health and Social Welfare, Zanzibar, Dr. Hamisi Kigwangala, this is a long one, Deputy Minister for Health and Social Welfare, Community Development, Gender Services, and Children, United Republic of Tanzania, Ambassadors, High Commissioners, and other members of the Diplomatic Corps, 
Mr. Omari Issa, Chair of the AMREF Health Africa International Board and other board members represented here, Dr. David Pritchard, Vice President, GSK Africa, Emerging Markets, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great honor on behalf of AMREF Health Africa and the organizing committee of this conference and our partners, Ministry of Health, Kenya, GlaxoSmithKline, as well as our sponsors to welcome you today to the opening ceremony of the Africa Health Agenda International Conference 2017. Appreciation goes to WHO for all the technical input provided while organizing this conference. Thank you very, very much. Three years ago, AMREF Health Africa, WHO, the Ministry of Health, hosted what was then the AMREF Health Africa International Conference. And the theme then was from evidence to action, lasting health change for Africa. The conference, which was held in Nairobi, aimed to explore and debate on how Africa can influence the global health agenda to improve health and human rights on the continent. The conference at that point, through its community, asked for the following things. One, investment in research and evidence-based approach to programming. Two, asked for three sustainable development goals, because this was the pre-end of 2015. This was 2014. 